Tuesday for about 10 minutes. You brought your name up three or four times. What have you done to uh, get that kind of attention from the coach? Um, I would say just coming in every day, just ready to work, um, going as hard as I can to make myself better, make my teammates better, make the whole line better. And just doing extra things on the side too, just getting extra work in. You know, all the all I do like that, you know, coming get extra work in on the side, watch film with coach. I think that just what makes us even better. How long does it take you to embrace the extra stuff? Um, I, I, this is definitely a process. Um, that you have to understand, you have to grow into. That makes you understand that, 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 that needs to be done at this type of level, especially at Ohio State school like this. All the extra work needs to be done for you to have the progress. I'm sure when you first get here, it feels like everything you're doing is already plenty. It's almost too much for you. So like, to get to that point to be doing extra stuff, like, how does that make you feel now? Uh, it just makes me feel great we'll to see that it's starting to pay off a little bit. You know, it's still a lot of more work that needs to be done. But just seeing that uh, you know, all the extra work comes in a uh, place and it helps me, it just makes me understand I need to do even more of it to get to where I want to be. Coach Johnson essentially called you a prototypical three technique tackle in this defense. What, what about your skill set makes you such a natural fit at that position? Honestly, uh, of course, my size comes with the factor, uh, my length. You know, it's, it's kind of unreal to see a guy my size at 3-tech, especially my arm length. You know, there's so many tools that you can do to, uh, you know, just be the best person on the field. What what about having like, a long, you know, that long wingspan? You're, you're 165, right? Uh, what what about that is so advantageous to it? To it to you know, it's just coming off the ball, you know, just being able to create space, make that penetration, and just being able to build off of that. You know, so many different moves, different skills you can do, and it's just kind of unreal. And it's, it's not just like a talent type of thing, it's just a God-given kind of gift. This Saturday you have the Student Appreciation Day. Is it, is it fun being in front of the students? Is it weird having the guy next to you in biology, biology class want an autograph also? What's that like when you're kind of working out in front of your fellow students? Um, I think it's a great uh, event that we're having, you know. We love our students, you know, just like on game days, you know, they come to watch us in the shoe. You know, it's just a special feeling. So it's, it's good to kind of get that feeling again, like how it was during the season, how it will be for the spring game. You know, we're just happy that they're able to come and watch us. And also you have the spring game coming up this year. It's on Fox. Is that say anything about the brand of Ohio State or the growth of college football that we're starting to put practice? I mean, glorified practices on network television would have been unheard of 20 years ago. Yeah, I'd say definitely come on national television for a spring game. You know, I've never heard of that before. You know, that's a new thing. I, that definitely shows the brand that we have here. You know, it's different than a lot of different schools in the country. Like, way different. Like, it's kind of un, unreal to kind of see that. And it's definitely special for us to have the opportunity. Jason, because of your length, you can talk about which fans that you are. Do think you might play on the edge here, or were you always going to fuck your uh, I would say throughout my high school career, I kind of believed I was going to play edge, but, you know, through the, the process, you know, Coach Jay, he was probably the only coach that had to reel with me and kind of told me that, you know, I might grow to be a typical three-tech. And, you know, as the years went, went by, you know, things worked out, and he was right. So. How much heavier are you now than you were? Um, I believe I came in at around 280, 285, and I'm at 305 now. So it's definitely... To me, it don't it don't feel like a difference. You know, I may it may look different, but to me, I feel like I'm moving way faster, quicker, and more explosive than I ever was in my life. What is your? Um, I have no idea. You don't know. I just know this this one of the longest on the team for sure. Jason, when you go from your size in high school and just being able to kind of use your size and kind of dominate to learning how to use your size at college level, how big of a transition is that? That's a huge transition. I feel like it's not just size once you get here. That's one thing I realized it took me a long time in this kind of process. You're going against grown men out here, Donovan Jackson, Matt Jones, and that shit. Like, that's way different than anybody in high school. And it's more than just size that you got to do to kind of get past them. It's more technique, knowing the play, knowing who's around, what everybody's doing. So I think this is it's way more than just size. It's kind of a mental thing as well. Was there like a, a moment for you, like, hey, I'm here and I've got to learn to use this size? Was there a moment last year of practice? Was it against Donovan or, or Carson or one of those guys on the inside? Like, was there a moment you could point to, like, okay, that's when I learned? 
I'll say probably like halfway through the season. You know, just getting all those reps and practice and scouting. You know, I'm going to start as every day. And, you know, that just kind of opened my eyes. Like, this is the real game. This is kind of what everybody goes to the real game. I really have to make that adjustment if I want to be on the How much did that help you to go on the scout team? Because right now, Coach Jay said that you're the uh, ideal three tech. Some buzz here from other guys around the program in the spring. Like how much did you, do you think you can point to the scout team and say, "Yeah, that helped me prepare for possibly a, a breakout year"? Oh, that helped me a lot. I feel like without being on the scout team, I wouldn't be where I am right now. You know, all the, the learning I went through, all the physical support that I went through, as tired as I was from every day, trying to get through ready for this. It helped me you know, kind of get ready for myself. You know, for when whenever my time is. So we're talking to you and Aiden and Hero today. How important is it for you three, you three young guys, to step up on the interior this year? Well, it's definitely important. Man. You know, we have our, our top four guys. You know, they kind of came in, solidified what they can do. Obviously, they could have went to the draft this past year, but they wanted to come back. You know, and do what they do what we have to do. So, you know, that goes to beating up north in the championship. And, you know, you can't do it just for them. You know, you need guys to come in, kind of get them subs when they need it so they can be the best when they're on the field. And for us to be able to come in and help the team, you know, that's very needed for what I go with. What was your reaction when Tyreek said he was coming back? Well, I was happy. You know, I was so excited to see him came back. You know, that's my guy. I love, I love Tyreek. Being able to take him every year just to learn from him, you know, that's, for me, that's kind of the best thing ever. I think a lot of people see it as everybody on the team wants the older guy to leave, you know, but why don't, why is that wrong? Why, why is that outlook wrong? I said, you, you want to win, you know. I feel like every, that's what everybody here as well. Um, you know, we're not really worried about anything else other than winning. And if guys come back and help us win, you know, that's, that's all we care about. That's what we want. Jason, I think it was Coach Day that said that you guys are going to have to play 25 to 30 snaps a game to, to help Ty Leak and Todd make it 16, 17 games. When you know that there's 25 to 30 snaps a game, kind of up for grabs, what does that do for you? Obviously, like he just said, like you've got those guys at the top. They're probably going to play their 40, 50 snaps a game. When you know that there's a pretty good chunk of Okay, folks, let's start to wrap up, please. What does that do for you? Uh, you know, I mean, besides just looking at whatever snaps is available, you know, we just want to do whatever it takes to help us win. And this is taking those kind of snaps and that's what we need to do to help the team win. We're going to do that and do it the best way we can.